Hi, everybody. My name is Sandra. The name of my YouTube channel is The Funky Pickle Thrifter. If you've never watched my channel before, it's so nice to meet you. Sometimes I feel like polishing sterling silver is a little bit like gray hair. Some people get gray hair and say, you know what, I can't stand it. I'm going to pluck it out. I'm going to dye my hair. I don't want to show my age. Other people don't mind. You know, some people, they go all gray and they just go with it. It's such an individual thing. I would just proceed with caution if you're a seller because a lot of people do like their pieces to have a lot of that patina. So there are certain jewelry pieces I would never touch with any polishing cloth or any kind of solvent that removes any of the tarnish. And this cuff bracelet is a great example. This bracelet has some age to it and I just think that patina is fabulous. I love it. I would just not touch this. It's beautiful. I know there are a lot of people who really like their silver to look shiny and new, and if you're one of those people, have at it. One thing I like to use, if you're a dipper, this is great. This is Connoisseur's Silver Jewelry Cleaner. I think I got this on Amazon, but I think they also carry it in Target and Walmart, and it's very easy to find. It's very inexpensive. Now, I don't usually dip pieces. Obviously, you would never dip anything that has stones in it. You know that. Uh, but I like to apply this sometimes with a Q-tip that we're going to do in just a bit. I'll show you how that works. The other thing I like to use is this polishing cloth. This is also Connoisseur's. I find myself going to this one a lot. So let's take a look at how I might clean a couple of things here. So let's start off with this Ecclesi watch. So I did dip my Q-tip in this jewelry cleaner right here. So it's nice and wet. So let's see if we can get some of this off. I'm going to go rinse this with a little bit of mild soapy water. I'll be right back. There's two sides to this polishing cloth. This is the side that has some stuff in it that helps the silver get clean. And this is just the wiping it off side. Give it a nice little rub, make sure that we got everything off. So then we use the pink side too. Yeah, that looks so much better, so much cleaner. This would be much more uh, enticing, I think, for somebody to buy this because it just looks nice and clean. So let's lightly wipe down this bracelet right here. This is quite tarnished. It's tarnished and some of it's kind of dull because of it. So this one I would wipe gently. So, so let's do that. Now I'm gonna wipe with the pink side of our cloth. So I just freshened this up a bit. I only did half so that you could see the difference. And you, of course, notice that I was avoiding the stones. So over here, it's dulled down. Now, if I was selling this, again, I would probably leave it exactly like that. But yeah, I think that looks really beautiful. Big difference, right? We won't touch this one. Yeah, that looks great. It is already shiny in its own right. It's not all dull, it looks fantastic. Well, that is my two cents on cleaning sterling silver jewelry. I hope this was helpful, and I also hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day.